God bless you. Welcome and shalom, beloved ones. My name is Rabbi Schneider. I want to wish you a very happy new year as we're getting ready to celebrate the Jewish New Year on Sunday, September 9th, as the sun goes down. We like to greet each other during this time of year and wish each other the best for the coming year in the Lord. But beyond that, I want to go to the scriptures now. I'm going to the book of Vayikra or Leviticus, and I'm looking there in the 23rd chapter, the 24th verse. Here's what the Lord says. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the sons of Israel, saying, In the seventh month and the first of the month, you shall have a rest, a reminder, by blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. What we know for certain about this day is when it took place, number one, and when it still takes place, takes place on the first day of the seventh month on the Hebrew calendar. And we know what we're supposed to do on this day. We're supposed to blow the trumpet. We call in Hebrew the shofar. And we do it as a reminder. And what does the blowing of the shofar remind us of? Beloved, it reminds us, first of all, that before the God of heaven and earth appeared to more than a million Israelites at the base of Mount Sinai, he announced his appearing with the blowing of a shofar from heaven. The shofar blew louder and louder and louder. The people at the base of Mount Sinai trembled. And then Yahweh, the God of all creation, the God of Israel, spoke. So when the Lord told the children of Israel in Leviticus 23, verse 24, every year after that to blow the shofar as a reminder, what they would have been reminded of is how God appeared to them at Mount Sinai almost 3,500 years ago as of today. Looking forward, reading the Brich Hadashah, the New Testament, we find that before Father God once again appears to the world through His Son, Yeshua, it will be preceded by the blowing of the ram's horn from heaven, the blowing of the shofar. We read in the book of Thessalonians that the shofar will blow and Yeshua HaMashiach will be revealed from heaven and the glory of God will encounter the entire earth. So this year, as we get ready to celebrate Rosh Hashanah or Yom Truah, the Feast of Trumpets, I want to encourage you to remind yourself Yeshua really is going to manifest himself to the world. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and he will set up his kingdom on earth. Yeshua wants us to live in the light and the knowledge of his soon and imminent return. Whether it's this year, in a hundred years or more, we don't know, but what we do know is this, Father wants us to live every day cognizant of the fact that his son is returning to earth, and he wants you and I to live in such a way we'll be ready. God bless you, beloved ones. This is Rabbi Schneider saying to you, Shana Tova, Happy New Year.